what's up welcome to our channel um today we are leaving the atlantis in the bahamas um and we have some things to share with you guys um some small things to know before you come to help you have an easier trip um with some help from our expertise so let's just get started um first thing first um the drinks here are very, very, very expensive. Um, one bottle of water, uh, they usually sell them in boxes, uh, like box water, it's about $5.99 for one. Um, so as soon as we landed, um, I told the cab driver, taxi driver to take us to any supermarket, local supermarket before we got to this area. Okay, so I'm gonna check out my first store. And then, um, so I loaded up on a bunch of like these size um, water bottles, about four, um, and some sodas and everything. Cause soda is also like five dollars. So we got a bunch of them. And then once you get here, we already packaged it up, but they give you a like a like a like a flask that keeps your drinks cold um because walking around this property it any cold drink will turn hot in seconds so that flask that they give you is really handy to like all the drinks that i bought from the supermarket i put in there and so we had drinks going everywhere pools everything you could take the flask with you wherever restaurants so yeah that's one uh really important to get uh and pack snacks um don't really buy them here because everything is regardless imported so anything that's like stuff that we like from america um costs a little bit more so i pack chips and you know non-perishable items with us like candy gummies pop cereal pop tarts um chips stuff like that um fruit yeah. snacks fruit snacks so we also brought um our own water from home oh uh, like two or three water bottles we were really surviving off of this supermarket water bottle um and another good thing is don't really bring cash yeah everything, everything right card. now is card um only thing that accepts cash is like vendors or things like that but like most all restaurants all pool foods everything is card um uh, and another or if you decide to go shopping you can use cash but depending on where you shop too though yeah um so and another thing that we wanted to share was they are so it's a very big property um there's about eight pools um so you're going to be walking a really good distance about each day so um each day we walked about six six miles, miles. so you might want to bring some comfortable shoes um another thing that i'd like to mention is the reservations of all the restaurants um the first day that you land make sure that you reserve all of your um restaurants everything for the week because if you're gonna just play it by hand and like walk up to restaurants you're not gonna really get um you know any reservations uh they do open table right or red what was yeah it? open table open table so it'd be a it's smart idea to you do don't know. yeah it's an app where you can you know book um reservations but it'd be smart which we should have because we had to eat whatever we could because the reservations here are ridiculous so just a heads up i would do open ta table and then look up at the restaurants before you get here and book reservations before you even get here because we arrived on Monday and we couldn't get one reservation. Not one. Not one. Only restaurant we were able to eat at was restaurants. We went to Nobu and we went to Seafire. And that was only because it was just us. The kids were in the daycare center. And um, yeah. Uh, They, it, 
it was like bar, bar seating. So that was, that was the only reason why we were able to, to go without no reservations. Um, For the casinos, you can also use cash. cash. They also have sports betting if you're into that. Um, and they, um, and drinks. That's the only thing. Uh, drinks are tip whatever you want. They're free, basically. You just as tip long whatever as you want. you're playing. As long as you're playing at the casino. That's, that's the only place here that is giving you free drinks. Um, and... Um, Another, the rooms aren't that elegant. Oh, the rooms are very outdated. You can give them a little spin around well, uh, after. No, you can look in our other video and see the room. Yeah. Um, also, they do, we were supposed to have two queen beds. They did accommodate us with a cot or a rollaway bed. Rollaway bed. For the kids, so that was helpful. Um... Uh, another thing that's really important is um, just a heads up, long, long waits for food. Uh, you're going to sit somewhere and you possibly could be waiting an hour to two hours for food. Uh, when they say island time here, they're not on island time. They're on their own time. They're doing whatever they want. Um, it falls into the category of island time, I guess. But yesterday we were at a restaurant called Pirates um, Republic. Republic. And there were people there that were there since 1.30. And when we sat down, it was about 3.30. And they just arrived. I mean, they just got their food. That's a little bit crazy to me. But we, they didn't make us wait that much, that long. Uh, we were probably waiting probably like an hour and a half. Uh, hour. Um, so um, another nice thing is um, the, that... The aquarium. Um it's something called The Dig. We also have another video. If you all go through our playlist of this, we'll also have that where it's basically all aquatic animals. Um, this place isn't like covered in marine life. I mean, everywhere you turn, everywhere you go. Um, yeah, it's going to be marine life in every corner. But that is only at the Royal Tower. We were lucky enough. We are staying at the Royal Tower. And everything is here, even though it's a little bit of a walking distance, but like right when we go down stairs, we're right by the turtles. There's, it's, it's beautiful. I would say out of all of the sister hotels, like the Coral, the Reef, I would stay at the Royal just because all the rooms are outdated and you're going to have to deal with that. But the best amenities are here. Like certain nights where our kids are just falling asleep at nine. We just head downstairs, which is like 10 minutes of a walk, five minutes of a walk, straight downstairs, and we're at the casino. So another thing I'd like to give you guys a heads up on is the excursions and the adventures here. Uh, the Dolphin K um, is crazy expensive. They are asking for about six seventy-five, um, and then eight fifty. I mean, six seventy five is for a knee deep encounter. You're not even in the water. You're not even gonna swim. And um, I looked up because we're headed to Miami today for a layover, and it cost two hundred and eleven dollars to swim with dolphins in Miami. So, just a range. Um, and another thing I'd like to like a little bit hint, um, just a little heads up. They. The people that work here aren't the friendliest. I mean, they're they're not. So you have some nice ones, but some of them are a little not so nice. Um, I don't know whether they're not paying them enough here or something along those lines, which I figure it is because I, I think this place makes a killing of money. But I think that the workers here kind of get the worst end of the stick. Yeah. So, um, yep, and the toilets at the Royal Tower is ridiculous. It stops up about every bathroom use. We need to call um, the front desk about every day. Getting the engineer to come. Getting the engineer to come and the fix toilet. the toilet really bad. They need they to do... They have real low water pressure, and I think that has... To do with the, aqua the water that they're using around yeah. for the animals and stuff. Yeah, and um, there's not much good food, I would say. Everything is kind of like burgers, hamburgers. 
French fries. French fries. Tenders. Unless you guys go to like Carmine's, which is like pasta. Or Nobu, which is. Or Nobu is like sushi. Um, but yeah, we didn't leave the property. Um, everything, we were here for about five days. Uh, when you get here, if you're staying longer than five days, make sure you schedule your COVID test oh, the yeah. day that you get here. Um, you can do that through the front desk and, or I think you get a website or something. Um, they do have shuttles because I wasn't able to take my COVID test here. We had to go to the, the coral. coral. Um, so the shuttle provided us a way there and back. It was free. Uh, that was a good amenity, I guess you could say. Yeah, but when we went to the coral, we were like, oh my God, I know the Royal Tower room is outdated, but we're so happy that we stayed here because everything is like based around the Royal Tower, basically. Like if you're staying at the coral, you're staying at the reef, you're staying wherever else on this property, you still have to take a shuttle to come to the Royal. So maybe... Spending that little bit of extra cash to come to the Royal is a little bit more worth it. Unless you don't mind taking, you know, shuttles and stuff like that. Or walking six miles okay, to get back to Okay, and home. all the rooms now have um, mini refrigerators. They used to be mini bars, but they took all the, the mini out. bar stuff out. And now you have a fridge. So if you are packing waters and so on and so forth you'll be able to store those in your room we do not have a microwave um i think the only microwave, microwave is downstairs it costs like 12 dollars to use which is like Ready. a five minute walk for us so yeah um and last but not least i would just make sure sunscreen 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 um, we're all a little bit like burnt up a little, even though we had sunscreen, but, um, yep. And they have floaties here in case if you want to leave yours behind, life jackets. life jackets, uh, which is real convenient for us. We have a three-year-old, so, um, he was able to do slides and everything with the life jacket and, um, yep. So overall, I think it was a good trip. It was a wonderful trip. Um, they are, you know, it's they're working out their kinks. They have some things that they left that they should have took care of during COVID when they were completely shut down. And a lot of things are kind of backfiring on them. Like um, when we went to uh, watch when they were feeding the manta ray, uh, one of the tanks are cracked. So it, it's some, some stuff with that. All of the waters are kind of connected like um, for the animals. So they're like, if I if they have to drain one tank, they have to drain all of them. So they're they're doing little things to fix the little cracks and, and stuff, you know, the nooks and crannies here and there. But if they don't get a hold of it, something's gonna come tumbling down soon. But yep, other than that, um, they yep. also have um since there's a lot of pools, they have towel stands pretty much everywhere. everywhere. And they also have towel return buckets everywhere. everywhere. So that's very, very convenient. Um, yep. And that's pretty much that's it. Pretty much it. Uh, so, yep. We hope you guys enjoy this video. We hope this helps you guys out. Um, so, thanks for watching and make sure you guys like this video comment and subscribe if you have any questions and watch our other videos and we will be here for you watch our other videos thanks guys